Is it deck from Alpha Charge with a um sorry, stocks to watch video today is December 9th, 2023. Before we get started, this video is for informational purposes only. These are not recommendations to buy, sell, or hold any stock or security. Now I may hold positions in some of the equities mentioned. Know your time frame and risk tolerance. All right, if you haven't done so yet, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also find me on Twitter at AlphaCharge365, where I post all kinds of, um, I think, pretty good content uh, all week long. If you really like that content, I do offer an educational subscriber group, 10 bucks a month, 33 cents a day. Really, for the amount of content you're getting, it is the deal of the year, for sure. Um, check it out if you're interested. Uh, again, it's only 10 bucks. You would cancel any time. So the worst case scenario is that you tried it for a month. It's 10 bucks. You don't like it. You cancel it. Or the other side, you try it for a month, 10 bucks. You love it. And you're so glad that you did for such a cheap price. So give it a whirl. Um, it's totally worth it. Click subscribe. All right. So let's get into the charts. Quick overview. Spy. We have a little bit of a broadening pattern. Um, may have a little bit of pullback coming. Don't know how deep it will be till after the fact. But um, but that would be totally normal. Right? Fairly tight action. So it all looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and get into the charts. First one is AFRM. Um subscribers were long this one for a while now uh and they've made some money uh good for them and uh and this is the kind of stuff you know annotated charts i use you know it's it's on there but yeah so i like this one from back here it's done extremely extremely well and if it can kind of you know it's breaking out again consolidate a little bit and you know um you manage risk against you know this this area right there which is pretty low risk Robinhood, which is kind of like a crypto play at this point, right? Um, again, sweet looking base right there. Lots of volume coming in. And now you kind of have this this sort of um, this area right here. And I think we can at least get in back up to this 12, 13, 12 and a half, 13 dollar area. And then we'll see, right, at that point. But definitely maybe a complete base. And then that move may just be starting. Sentinel One, again. By the way, I'm using Deep View. Uh, Deep View is the charting software and, and screening package I'm using today. Uh, if you're interested in Deep View, go to deepview.com. Uh, here's Sentinel One again. Nice big gap up. Now we got this consolidation happening. I may need a few more days, but if you continue higher, I like that one a lot. Next up is Snow Snowflake. Right underneath this area of potential overhead supply, uh, nice consolidation, not doing anything wrong. Again, a push higher into this area, but we'll call it, you know, maybe 200-ish or so. Um, I think that, you know, we could be long above, easily above 200. Um, you can even start a little bit early if you wanted to. IOT. And here is the IPO. And we have the breakout. And now we have just a retest of that breakout. Super strong looking name. As long as it can stay above, you know, $32. I love this name. Looks really, really good. IoT above 32. Uh, Dash. Again, big, big area. Breaking out. Trying Now starting to move higher. Everything looks good. Follow the trend, right? That's a, definitely a trending looking name. GitLab. Again, broke out of this. You know, we'll call this inverse head and shoulders. It's a big base, whatever it is. Nice um, volume coming in after earnings. Uh, a little selling going on. It may need to kind of come back around a little bit. But overall, as long as it stays above, you know, $54, $55, I think things are absolutely fine in GitLab uh, net. You know, this one looks really good. It's kind of have a little flaggy area right there. So you have your, you know, there's your VWAP. I would say if it gets below VWAP, I, I, you know, seventy four fifty, we'll call it. Um, I wouldn't want to be long this name, uh, but if it breaks this downtrend line, I absolutely would. CRWD. This is CrowdStrike. Again, nice big gap up. Um, kind of moving forward. Love to see it close. You know, a buy maybe closer to two thirty four, two thirty five. 
but sometimes we don't always get what we want, right? Declining volume as it moves higher. So a little snapback breakout, you know, um, shake out the excess of bullishness would be really nice to see. Next is AZEK. It's a building supply company. So not everything is going to be, um, you know, software and tech stocks, right? Uh, here's AZ AZK. Again, you have this trend line, kind of bull flag-ish. It would have to break the trend line and break out for me to be involved in this name, um, but it's definitely one I want to watch. F-O-U-R. Here's F-O-U-R. Again, trying to come up to this area. It has, you know, we can even do something like that, right? So if it can get above the green area, I'd be interested in this name. It looks pretty good. And there's C-O-U-R, Coursera. Again, a nice trending name. We've talked about this one in the past. Ever since it broke out, came back, retest. And now it's just trending higher. Not the fastest name, but it's trending higher, right? LSPD, light speed. Um, so this one has a nice consolidation right there. Moving averages catching up. It's basically trying to break out as is. Great accumulation. Um, I think at the very least, we get up close to that $19 level. That looks pretty good. Um, if it falls back below this green area, no reason to be involved. You know, you could even use this 23-day if you wanted to, uh, if you have a little more risk involved in there. But overall, looks pretty good. N-D-U-O-L, Duolingo is the last one. You know, we've talked about this one for a while. It has a hard time getting above this general area. So that's the area it needs to get above, right? 225. Above 225, I think we could be long Duolingo. Until that happens, um, there's no reason, again, to be involved, okay? Hope you all are doing well. Again, check me out on X at AlphaCharge365. And also consider this um, subscription group. Again, it's totally, I, I think it's totally worth the 10 bucks a month. You get a ton of information. Saves you a, a, a bunch of time. So, all right, y'all take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.